Today's lesson is on multiplying polynomials with the distributive property. There's three ways we're going to learn how to multiply polynomials. One way is with the distributive property, another way is with the box method, and the third way is with the FOIL method. But this lesson is only going to focus on using the distributive property. So let's take a look at an example that we already learned. We were learning how to multiply polynomials by monomials. Our monomial was 2x and our polynomial was x plus 3. And we used the distributive property to multiply this out by taking our outside term and multiplying it to each term inside the parentheses, each term of the polynomial. So that ended up being 2x times x plus 2x times 3. Then if we simplified this out, we had 2x times x. So that was, we have exponents of 1, 2x squared, because we keep the base at the exponents, and then plus 2x times 3. So 2 times 3 is 6 times x. Now let's take a look at how to multiply two binomials together. We're going to use the distributive property again, and we're going to look at it in almost like two different steps. We're going to look at it as x times x plus 3 plus 4 times x plus 3. Notice that I have essentially done the distributive distributive property and taken this outside term and applied it to each of the inside terms. Another way to look at this is that I am taking my first term and taking it to each of the inside terms and then I'm taking my second term and multiplying it with each of the inside terms. So basically what we have is x times x, so this first outside term times each of the second binomial, plus x times 3, and then doing the same thing with my second term, 4. 4 times x plus 4 times 3. Once we've done that, we're going to simplify, and we get x squared plus 3x plus 4x plus 12. Well, hopefully you're sitting there and you notice that both of these terms have the same base, have the same variable. Because of that, we can add the terms together, and we get x squared plus 7x plus 12 as our final answer. You always want your answer to be simplified as much as possible. But remember, we cannot add it with this x squared because they don't have the same exact base. x and x squared have the same variable, but x is not exactly the same as x squared. x squared is x times x. We're going to use the distributive property again. We're going to take this first term x and multiply it by both terms in the binomial. So we'll have x times x plus x times 7. We're then going to take the second term, but this time it's a negative 4. Always remember that sign in front of the number and multiply it to both terms. So we're going to have plus negative 4 times x plus negative 4 times 7. Remember, it's like taking x times x plus 7 plus negative 4 times x plus 7. So if we simplify our answer, we're going to have x times x, which is x squared, x times 7, which is plus 7x, negative 4 times x, which is minus 4x, and negative 4 times 7, which is negative 28. But if you notice, and hopefully you do, 7x minus 4x, we can simplify these terms. 
So if we simplify them, we have x squared, 7 minus 4 is plus 3x, so we're going to add the coefficients, or in this case subtract the coefficients, keep the base, minus 28. And this is our final answer. Looking at one more example, now we have a coefficient in front of our variables. But everything is still going to be the same. We're going to take this 2y and distribute it to each term. So I'm going to have 2y times 6y plus 2y times negative 7. Don't forget that negative in front of the 7. We're going to do the same thing with the second term. So negative 3 times 6y and negative 3 times negative 7. So I'm going to have plus negative 3 times 6y plus negative 3 times negative 7. Sorry, I kind of ran out of space there. Now if we simplify, we're going to have 2y times 6y. 2 times 6 is 12. y times y is y squared. Then I have 2 times negative 7, which is negative 14, y. Then I have negative 3 times 6, which is negative 18, y. And then negative 3 times negative 7, two negatives make a positive, so I have plus 21. Looking at this, negative 14y minus 18y can be simplified. So our final answer is going to be 12y squared minus 32y plus 21. And that's our final answer. And that's how to multiply polynomials using the distributive property.